Sagittarius what is going on my dears why are you so curious baby I want to say big shout out to every last one of my babies thank you so much for liking sharing and clicking these videos throughout this year I'm coming in today to give my Sagittarius a bonus for the close of the year in reading um I am so, so very happy to be able to come through and do this. I got inspired because um, I got some new decks uh, that came in again to, well, I, I got a new deck. So I got a new deck that came in thanks to you guys' love and support. Thank you to uh, everyone that's been sending in love through um the cash app and the paypal and the amazon wish list for christmas just sending in christmas blessings and christmas thanks i greatly appreciate it so i said let me come in and just give you guys some extra love um we just received the cosmic slumber tarot deck uh so this is a new deck i think this came out like this year earlier this year uh this is something like i've never seen this deck here it actually comes with two bonus cards i'm so excited to be using this deck with you guys today this deck is actually replacing the um edgar Allan poe deck that i was supposed to receive um for christmas but it got lost in translation it got lost in the postal service system so it got replaced with this and I'm a little bit even more happy with this so we're going to do a mixture of this new deck um, and we're also going to use my tarot dice which was another um, gift that was sent to me last year I believe around Christmas time and um, that was donated through the Amazon wish list. so again I just want to say thank you guys for all of your donations throughout any point of time um, I'm just so very much thankful and we're about to get into some readings today find out what's going on with you guys for the end of the year we'll be using the tea and the tarot dice and as well as that new deck so uh let's get ready to get into the energy if there's anyone that would like to support the page send in some christmas gift love or book a personal or private reading go ahead and check the description box of this video go ahead and check the about tab on my youtube page and you know you'll get whatever you need if you do not have an instagram to connect with me or an instagram messenger just simply email me at scorpionred to gmail Dot com and I'll help to get you all set up with uh, bookings uh, and everything will be taken care of and again thank you guys for all of the blessings and all the support this year and again Merry Christmas to every last one of you let's give God the creator the universe some thanks and praise before we get into this energy father god we come to you with lifted hands and lifted spirits father god we thank you so much for just covering us and just keeping us in a high vibration of love and clarity and just gifting us with so many just spiritual intuitive just thoughts and giving us the momentum that we need to keep ourselves just blessed and just not stressed and to carry us through 20 um through 2020 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of people but but we went through it with no fear. We went through it, we went through it with encouragement. And Father God, with a lot of strength that we claim in victory over our life. But we thank you so much for all of the blessings that have yet to come in 2021. So Father God, continue to keep your hand on us so that we can stay focused, Father God. And please give us the clarity and the wisdom that we need to receive today for the sign of Sagittarius for the end of December going into 2021. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So today we're going to be using the tea so i'm going to get three cards let's see and then i will be using the tarot dice to do some clarification so if you guys are using headphones when i start shaking the dice you may need to um you know turn the volume down or something let me get one more card okay Let's see what we got going on here, Sagittarius. Off the top, we got the eagle. We got triumph over obstacles. That is a very, very good card. Let's see. We got the vine. Seek out information that will help you. Seek out information that will help you. Triumph over troubles. And let's see the last one here. We got the dagger. Fears, worry, 
tense situation. So you guys are most definitely going through a little fickle pickle right now. You guys are going through a little situation right now. But there is triumph. There is success. There is victory. And you will overcome the situation. Just pay attention and don't let your fears and worries and whatever um, insecurities or whatever that the situation is bringing you. Don't let it, um, you know, get in the way of your stride. Okay? So let's see. We got the kite. Vacation. Two more. Thank you. Ooh. We got the ring. Ooh. If I could pick the card up. We got a ring. A marriage will take place either in romance or business. So you got vocation. Vocation. You got vacation in the ring. I like that. One more card. One more card, please, for Sagittarius. You're just doing two. Okay. You got the bat. Take care. Enemies are working against you. And you got the clock. Be careful not to take risk. And what is this? The desk. Pay attention to your work. All right. That was a mouth full. Okay. So, you guys need to take a vacation here, especially from whatever fears, worries, and anxieties, and whatever tense situation it is over here that you're trying to, um, because when I see the vine, I think of someone trying to cling on to something, and it's like, God is trying to tell you to kind of let go, and Release whatever it is that you're holding on to and seek out information that will greatly help you and guide you past this. The eagle, you soaring over this. you soaring over whatever problem it is. Um, you may just need to take a vacation, take time out and think about what you want to do. There is going to be some level of commitment here. And again, it's going to take place. A marriage will take place in either romance or in business. There is something that... There's some type of scathing energy that's going on down here. You got the bat in the claw. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Be careful not to take risk. And in your desk, pay attention to your work. Hmm. Hmm. I may have to separate this here because... Even though I shouldn't, I really, really shouldn't. Because it's like telling. Let me do what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to get. Yeah, I'm going to do two. So give me clarity on um, the. It just keep one of. Okay, so God is just telling me, it's like you need to drop the situation. Whatever situation that you find yourself tangled up in that you are not releasing and you're not letting go, it's bringing a lot of negative energy to you. You need to drop it and release the situation. And as soon as you stop trying to hold on to something so tight, that's when that eagle experience will come. And you'll be able to release the fears, the worries, and the anxiety over this situation and you'll be able to let it go. With this dagger, I do kind of get here that someone is stabbing somebody in the back. I don't know from which energy that this is coming from. Because there are a lot of cross watchers that, are, that watch these videos about Sagittarius. And there are Sagittarius that are watching it for their energy. So take the energy, how the energy resonates with you and your situation. But clearly right here, it's saying take care. Is there are enemies that are working against you. And this fears and worries about a situation. So it is something where... There is some level of negative energy. And it's someone that is... Resisting letting this shit go. It's like someone won't let it go. It's like you won't let it go. Be careful. Do not take risks. Focus on your money. So whoever this is. I don't know if this is someone that is. With this negative energy against the Sagittarius. Or if this is someone that is watching this because of the Sagittarius. Um, whoever this is. 
I feel like they need to focus more on positivity and focus on their work. Focus on your business. Focus on your job. Like, someone's clinging on to something that they need to let go. Um, they need to take a vacation and, like, reset their mind. You know, like, how you got, like, a toy or something and it gets stuck? You ever had, like, one of them old school little handheld video games and it gets stuck and you got to turn it around and take, a, like, a little pin and click the reset button? You need to click the reset button, take some time out, take a vacation, and it's like you need to come back to things. And I feel like you'll be more committed. There's going to be more positive energy. There'll be... Yeah, there, there'll be more of a commitment here. It doesn't matter if it has to do with relationships, love, or just work and career in general. It's like you need to hit the reset button. Take some time to yourself to regenerate your energy and come back when it's like a little bit more positive. Because I'm getting a lot of negative vibes here for some reason. And it's someone not willing to let go. It's like they won't set their pride down about something. It's like the ego. Okay, clarify the vine, the eagle, and the dagger. You got the judgment in the reverse. And what is this here? Is this the six of pentacles? So this is the judgment in the reverse. Like, that's... It's not good. So the judgment in the reverse is basically telling me it's that um, something may not turn out the way that you expect it. And the Six of Pentacles is someone having to return a favor, give a gift, or to give someone something to assist or to aid someone something. So it's like... It's like the judgment is not going to turn out in your favor. It's just, just give it to them. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, if you've been holding on to some money, not been wanting to, like, release something, to give something to somebody because you're holding on to something for some type of petty reason, like, you feel justified in doing it. It's like the universe is telling you, no, you're not justified in holding on this person's money or not giving someone something, not sharing your attention your time your resources um information knowledge is like no you don't have any business holding on to that release it and let it go and give it to them you don't have the right to do that you know so if there's someone that's holding on to someone's material possessions give it to them you know what i'm saying because it's not worth the negative it's not worth the negative energy that you're going to get on the receiving end. Because it's, it's not fair for you to do that. It's not fair for you to do that. Clarify the back, the claw, the desk. What is this? This is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is like loss of finance. This is like a loss of job or something. Loss of work. Like, uh, like and, and it's like a screwed up reputation, like destroying your reputation, the page of wands. So this is basically saying, like, pay attention to your work. Be careful. Do not take risks. Take care as an enemy is working against you. Like the page of wands could be someone that is um, can either be extremely younger than you or extremely uh like, immature in their thinking, in their commitment, it's like, they'll start something, but they don't have a good uh, way of finishing it. Like, they'll get really excited about something, then all of a sudden, like, they'll lose interest in the project, and then they're on to something else. And it's like, destroying your reputation. And people could be talking about you, like, yeah, whoever the fuck. I don't know why you would want to do business with that person because they don't really focus on their work. Like, they'll start something, but they don't feel that they have an obligation in finishing it. And I don't think you should take the risk in investing your time in this project with this person. Like, 
you know, they may try to, um, like this is, some, why am I getting, it's like someone started a project with someone, but because they lost interest in it, they decided to put it down, but the other person wants to still pick up, it still has interest in it, wants to pick it up and keep the shit going, and then the person like, but it's, my stuff so like you're not going to pick up and do something without me if I don't feel like doing it you ain't doing it neither and I, I'm getting like someone is taking someone to court for their it's like their their work it's like you're holding on to someone's work their pieces their intellectual property like that's that's mine like you don't have the right to hold out, to hold on to this. Like, this could be a tense situation. And I, I am getting, like, some court litigation. And whoever's holding on to someone's intellectual property, I don't know why. If you're holding on to someone's property, if this is someone's um, drum set, it's someone's writing, it's someone's tools that someone uses for their spiritual, their spirituality, their gift, um... Something that someone needs for their day-to-day -day job. And they can't do it because someone won't give something to them for whatever reason. And I definitely see them taking you to court and answering for whatever it is that you did. It's like they can't focus on their work. Um, they really shouldn't have taken a risk in dealing with you. Or you shouldn't have taken a risk in dealing with them because... enemies are working against you it's it's like I don't know why I'm kind of getting like you were supposed to be my friend we were supposed to be working together and all of a sudden like you just switch sides like it's like now you're like my enemy and shit and it's like you're trying to hold on to my work when this was our project together if you're not going to work on it give it to me and let me finish it like why the fuck would you do that and it's just like i don't give a fuck like you worked on this shit in my house it's in my computer no i'm not going to give it to you if you want it fucking sue me and i'm still not going to give it to you like i don't know who i'm getting that like why am i getting that it's like someone really fucking in mature immature and it's like, they only want to work on something if they're still passionate about it. If they're not still passionate about it, they couldn't give a fuck about <laughs> what anybody else... It's like they're not interested in something anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, it don't make no sense in them giving it to you. Let's see what is going on here with this vacation. The ring. Oh, goodness. Clarify the type in the ring. The two of wands in the reverse. And this is the six of wands in the reverse. Wow. So yeah, this is something. It's like. That's crazy. It's like this is something where it's like. Someone is staying put. But at the same time, not getting the recognition. The desired recognition that they thought that they should have. But it's like at the same time, you're not leaving. That don't make no sense. It don't make no... I mean, it logically doesn't make any type of sense at all. If you're not giving me the recognition and the praise and the honor that I deserve for whatever I've been giving to you, what I've been fighting for, I've been risking myself on the line, I've been giving you insight in regards to my intellectual thoughts in regards to products and business and things like that and it's like you don't even invite me to god why am i getting like is someone not inviting me to an award ceremony it's like these were my drawings like these were my ideas like i don't know why i didn't leave when i should have it's like it's it i <sighs> I'm really getting this has something to do with a connection of some sort. It's like 
either we were working with each other, we were colleagues, we were friends, or we were in a relationship with each other, and it's like, you won't give me my stuff, you won't, oh, they're, they're saying like, you won't give me my car, my vehicle, so I can go to work, so I can do what I'm, I need to do to take care of myself, it's like, you keep holding on to wanting to keep my car, or to keep my furniture or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I gave this to you because we were supposed to be working together on a common goal here with the Six of Pentacles. It's like we were supposed to be trying to work together. Now it's like now you're working against me. Again, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't like this situation. Someone is not getting the praise and the recognition. They're not getting the breakdown of the resources. It's like someone is trying to keep it to their self. Um, and not acknowledge someone. And I want to say whoever this was. They should have taken some time. And thought about. This investment. This marriage. Because even in like. Partnership and business. It's still a, it's still a marriage. You got to make sure that you're going to. Commit yourself and. Send your ideas to someone that when things fall out are still going to do the right things. Not going to turn against you. Not going to keep your, your property. Um, not going to give you the fair breakdown. Uh, even if things like because this is someone that is not mature. That is extremely petty and is not mature when things doesn't go their way. Or when they just lose interest in the situation. It's like they don't care about nobody but their self. And someone is still holding to something that rightfully isn't theirs. It's not yours anymore. So it's like, and because it's not there any, theirs anymore, it's like, they're against you. Like, they're not your friend. They don't care about you receiving anything or justice being fair. It's like, I don't care about justice. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck what justice said. I don't care what the judgment is. Like, what is this? The two of torches in the reverse. So again, it says like someone that knows that they need to leave but doesn't have the strength to go anywhere. It's like they're still going to stand there and deal with some level of punishment and abuse for some reason. It's like a sucker for punishment. It's like you have a way out of this situation, but you're not taking it. The seven of swords in the reverse and then you got the eight of torches. So, this is someone that is like getting caught. It's like getting caught sneaking around. It's like someone told on some. It's like someone's telling on you that you've been communicating elsewhere. Um, like the Eight of Torches, that's like... Uh, Someone trying to reach an alternate target. Like, they may be sending their, shooting their shot out all over the place. Trying to see what's going to be returned back. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they could have tried to have been sneaky or manipulative about it. But I seen you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of those messages bounced back to me. Like, you must have carbon copied me on accident. Why? Oh, my gosh. It's like... Because remember, it's like y'all are supposed to be in a partnership, a marriage, a commitment or something. And it's like someone is trying to move on or trying to do something without giving someone the recognition and the praise and things. And it's like, why am I getting this thing? Someone isn't interested in, in this job anymore and doing this work or participating in this business anymore someone doesn't want to do it anymore take care there are enemies working against you be careful not to take risks the risk here is you not leaving the situation when you should have been had left it's like someone is just standing at this door looking back at these old footsteps that they should have never taken in the beginning i don't know if this is someone that went into business with a friend when it's a business with a lover. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. But it's like you are not. It, it's like. Scared to move on. 
you know something is better on the other side. But at the same time, you refuse to take a single solitary damn step. You refuse to do it. It's like you're just still standing there holding on, waiting for something. And it's like you're not going to triumph and get over and get past this situation until you release and let go and give these people what is rightly and deservingly theirs so you can start over. It's like, how are you going to start over and you still holding on to things from yesteryears, holding on to shit that other people are supposed to have just because you're mad that they want to move on and, and, and go in another situation? You see what I'm saying? So it's like trying to stop someone from leaving. Like, you want to leave me? That's fine. You don't want to work with me no more? That's fine. You're not getting no credit on this work. I'm not giving you no payout. You can take me to court. Let the court do it. You know what I'm saying? I should, If you don't take me to court, I'm not giving you shit. You know what I'm saying? Go on and take your vacation and go find somewhere else to, you know, be. Like, I, I already see what you're doing, and I'm going to beat you at your game. So, at the end of the day, you want to get shysty, I'm going to get shystier. So, you know, I'm going to send some communication out, too. And it's like, I want to say someone intentionally karma copied, like blind copied the other person on some message or whatever. Because it's like they wanted you to see that they're talking to other people, that they're trying to gain resources. It's, it's like, I'm not sneaking around. I'm going to do this shit in your face. You know what I'm saying? So, when I get these responses, I, I want you to understand what I'm doing. And I'm doing it in your face or something like that. Gracious alive, help me, Jesus. All right, three more cards. Okay. You got the flowers. You got the candle. You got the quill. And then what is this? You got the bridge. So you got the flower, happiness, the candle. You will be shown the way. Whoever this is that is like being the victim of this petty ass energy, like you'll be shown the way. Like you'll you're good. It's like you gotta find your way to build up the momentum to get out of here. Like it's like someone is doing you wrong or something something ain't right here. It's like something somebody is all out for self. And I mean that because as long as they're happy, everybody else is happy. But as soon as they're not satisfied and they're sad, they want to make every fucking body else miserable just because they don't want to do something. But other people were still in it. So just because you decide that you're not interested in something anymore, you just hand everybody your ass to kiss and you just start acting like a narcissistic bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, and you start doing things that kind of... torment me or make me feel bad that I'm even in a situation with you like that's kind of what I'm getting it says the quill get back to the basics and the bridge a successful outcome to the problem so listen whoever this is that is dealing with this type of energy here like God is going to show you the way back to your happiness like I honestly want to say Whatever it is that they're trying to hold on of yours and not give it to you and they want to keep it, let them motherfuckers have that shit. Let them have it. Let them have it because if that makes them feel good about this stuff, let them keep it. Let them keep it. Let them keep it. And let them go on about their way. Because at the end of the day, you see the judgment card over here. Baby. God sees and God judges everything. If God told them you don't win in this verdict, you need to go ahead and give to the rightful owner and they still don't do it. Listen, if they start losing their jobs, their finances, their reputation, because people look at them like you're immature. You say one thing, but yet you do another because that's what it is. This is someone's reputation being fucking ruined for the rest of their life. 
you understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, this person is doing nothing but hurting themselves and their fucking reputation. So, when don't nobody want to do nothing to them, they don't get no more contracts, and everybody see them for the fucking imbecile that they are. Immature piece of fucking narcissistic shit. It is like someone excited about a new job for two weeks, and then after the two weeks, after the new car smell and shit wears out, they decided they don't want to start coming to work anymore. But they still want to show up and get a paycheck. If you don't get your ass... Go home. Wherever you came from, go home. Like, you're not, you're not getting no recognition and no reward here acting like that. You sure won't. You absolutely won't. You sure won't. Please take a vacation and you go find someone else to commit yourself to. Because we see you for what you are. And again, um, whatever this is, they found out about you fast. Okay, there was some quick communication. Something quickly came in to expose you. Because the Seven of Swords is exposure. Someone catching someone in a scam, in a trick or something like that. So now it's time to get back to basics. You've crossed this bridge with this person and success is coming to you. Don't worry. Everyone is going to see this person for exactly who they are. Exactly who they are. So you got the V for victory, I believe. Victory in this endeavor. You got the diamond. You will be receiving a precious gift. Okay, like I said, let them keep it. The lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Right? So at the end of the day, it's certain things that if people don't want to fix it, leave it alone. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Take a vacation. Don't give these people recognition and stop moving towards them. Like, period. It's time for you to really focus on moving on and stop stagnating yourself, looking at something, wondering why someone isn't talking to me no more, why someone isn't giving me any attention anymore. Like, because the Seven of Swords is legitimately someone. It's like you found out that this person was like your enemy, like this person. Really didn't like you to begin with. They were just coming around to take and steal what it was that you have and try to claim it for themselves. Like, they really didn't have good intentions for you. They could have been around you for the wrong reasons. It's like someone around you just to master and learn your skills or to slowly, piece by piece, take some stuff for you and try to play it off as if it's theirs. And they want to get the fame and the notoriety for, like, your intellectual work. And, it, and it's not going to happen. V for victory. There's going to be victory in this. You will receive your diamonds. You will receive your flowers for whatever it was that you were doing. And you will get to wherever you are going. Control your anger or you will regret it. Like, don't allow. And again, like I said, if someone is trying to hold on to something... Being petty and let them motherfuckers have it. They ain't doing nothing but hurting themselves, baby. They ain't doing a damn thing but hurting their damn self. Um, let's clarify. Clarify the flowers, the candle, the quill, the bridge. You got the ace of wands in the reverse. And then clarify the two of torches. You got the three of cups. So it's like. A loss of friendship or something. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So, clarifying this, the Two of Wands, the Flowers, which is happiness. You will be shown the way, the bridge, success, overcoming a problem, and getting back to the basics. This is basically saying, like, I, I don't I don't see it in the future for whoever this person is, this love relationship, this friendship. Like there could have been a third party situation. There, there could have been a third element that caused disruption in this connection, this friendship, 
this marriage, this commitment. There is most definitely a third party. Um, it looks like all of the fun is over. Like the Three of Cups means lack of friendship. So it's like you could have lost a friend. You could have lost someone that you really cared for. And it could have, it, it's either like a friendship or a lover. Because I'm, I'm, I definitely get here, it was like a partnership here amongst friends. It's like, was on a business or something that they were supposed to do or create together. And it could be like a legal battle because someone isn't trying to release someone's property. It's like they just refuse to give it to them. Let it go. Let it go. Um, it's unfortunate that you had to go through this misfortune. But at the same time, it was stagnating in your growth. And I don't really think that you realized that you had like an enemy that close to you. Whoever that was, wasn't your friend. Whoever that was, wasn't your family. Or whoever that was, definitely was a, wasn't a lover. You know, um, they definitely have their claws in you. You seem distracted on your work. You seem distracted on your, like, whatever it is that you should be doing, you haven't been keeping up with it. Because, again, with this vine, it's like you've been clinging to this situation. It's like trying to figure out what the verdict, what the outcome is. Am I ever going to get my shit back? Is this person ever going to... Um, Am I ever going to receive justice for what this person did to me or whatever the fuck it was? You know, I can't even remember. What, okay, it don't even matter. Um, but again, it's like, let it go. Like, if people are not going to feed positivity into you and you keep dealing with these unfortunate situations, these arguments, this confusion, people trying to take things <laughs> that they're not worthy of, like, let it go what goes up must come down and when you down you ain't got no other choice but to go up so you shall rise from this situation this is an unfortunate situation you did lose a colleague you did lose a friend you did lose a lover but at the end of the day the ace of wands in reverse it was stagnating a new beginning in your life because up here as it clearly shows as soon as you decide to stop Causing yourself trouble with this tool. Why stop just standing there where God is giving you a way out? Why are you just standing there? Stop trying to give this person recognition. As soon as you take a break from that shit, a marriage will take place either in romance or in business. As soon as you let go of that shit, everything that you're supposed to have is going to come to you. These people want to get away, want to leave, or trying to manipulate or get over or something. Listen. They gonna get caught. Like I said, the justice system is gonna serve, or will always serve. You gonna get what you were supposed to rightfully get out of the outcome anyway. And after these people get caught, all of the communication that you were supposed to receive is gonna come to you. Let these people go away if they if, if that's what they wanna do. Control your anger. You'll receive victory in this situation. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Clarify the diamond, the lightning, the, the eight of wands, the seven of swords. So this is the four of swords. Yeah, this is you taking a mental break from the situation. This is the joker, the fool card. And then, okay, so you guys, again, taking a mental break, a vacation, spending some time to yourself, doing some soul searching. Figuring out how you feel inside after all of this came about, you know, um, it looks like you have a lot more time to yourself because you've cut certain people off. You're not talking to certain people anymore and rightfully so you have the um, fool right there. So it's like you continuing to move in faith like you're not allowing anything to stop you. The fool represents movement, moving into the unknown truth. You got your sword. It's like. That sword is basically telling me um, you have sight, you have knowledge, you have a gift of seeing things and knowing the truth when the truth is smacking you in, in front of your face. You knew that this person really wasn't your friend. 
you knew that as long as things was going good in their life, things was going good with you. As soon as shit started going bad with you, so as soon as things started going bad in their life, things started going bad with you too. I don't feel like you did anything to deserve whatever this energy is, you know, like, don't worry about it. Whatever this tense situation is, let it go because you are eagle. You will fly above everything. Again, the fool. When you know what you know and you know that you're a good person and you put good energy out, goodness will always come back to you. Like it says, you will see victory in this situation. Just take some time to yourself and regenerate your strength. And again, control your temper. It's not worth any type of negative energy. It's just not worth it. Last spread. Okay, what is this here? You got the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Again, new doors. Again, let them have it. Let them have it. Let them have it. Like it said up there, a marriage will take place either in romance or in business. New doors are opening up. Close this shit forever and let it be in peace. Let it be done. So, let's see what we got here. We got the horseshoe. You got good luck. And then what is this here? You got the key successful outcome to your problem. Again, victory is yours. Victory is yours. Victory is here. Um, again. Because this seven is what I got to go to, to get some more keywords for the seven of swords because it's something beyond this person just being a thief and an untrustworthy person. Um, like, you, you did the right thing by letting them leave and letting these people get away. Like, it's, it's, it really wasn't worth um, allowing these people to be around you. Because when certain blessings and things are prepared to come into your life, you don't need certain people around you. And, and, and that's like the best way that I could tell you like I know it may hurt but it'll hurt even more if you would allow people around you that shouldn't have been around you when the true blessings started coming and then they really would have stole your 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 stuff so seven of swords in reverse means outdated thinking uh old-fashioned let go find a new approach unworkable plan not looking where you're going outsmarted cunning illegal activity no conscience dishonesty coming clean owning up untrustworthy dubious sneaky two-faced it lies deceit slander malice warning advice or warning ignored turning a blind eye um, into minds, fear, cowardly behavior, running away when the going gets tough, <laughs> okay, um, skipping town, jumping the ship, shrinking responsibility, can't face the music, consequences, getting caught, no backbone, manipulation, scheming, taking credit for someone else's work. I said that. Danger, high risk, con, scams, thief, blackmail, security breach, uh, double check. I told you, I already, I already, I'm trying to tell you, I already seen that. I already seen that. I seen that right here. It's like the judge told him to, to, to give you what you're old and, and it's like, <laughs> they don't, they want to keep it. It's like you, the judgment did not come out and the verdict did not come out on their side. And they've been ordered to give something to you. And it's a very tense situation. Very, very tense situation. Um, let's clarify this. The door. The horseshoe and the key. You got the five of cups. So the five of cups is. It's basically like a card of mourning. Regret. Sadness tears regardless of the fact um and this is a thing that bothers me is because again that's it's like so it's still like someone not letting go of something it's like you should be walking through a fucking door and you're not and it's like you're still holding on to regrets and sadness and stuff if someone wants to go let them go 
let him go. Like, what are you still crying about? You got new doors of opportunities, good luck, successful outcome. And, like, why are you still crying? Why are you still cleaning, clinging on to something? That's why I'm saying it's like, God is, is, is telling you, give these people their energy back. Like, give it to them freely. Give it to them. You know? Give them this back. You know? Because, like, to me, this Six of Pentacles is giving. Giving. Give it freely. It shouldn't be a struggle. You know, like, give it because you should give it. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse is, like, someone helping or giving something to somebody and they're going to talk shit about you the whole time. They holding some type of like resentment in their chest about it and it's like plaguing them for the rest of their life because they they wish that they'd never you know what i'm saying like no the course is telling you to give this back to this person freely with a clear conscience you don't need it anymore give them their back their energy give them back their time give it to them and it's like regretting it Regretting it the long way. It's like. It's like your heart won't stop mourning. Even when you have so many good things. It's like. You still. And, and this is the thing. And that's why I'm saying. I'm getting here that. um that's what, again, why I'm like, if someone's immaturity is going to fuck up their goddamn reputation, bruh. And it's like, I'm kind of getting here, it's like someone being an enemy to their self. And again, like, take the energy how it resonates. Because it it's like, it's, it's three positions here. It's someone that is holding on to something, and they're fucking up their shit for their self. And it got... Things right in front of them that they will not receive because they will not let go. There's someone that had a business with a friend. The friend decided that they didn't want to do that job anymore. They were not interested in it. They wanted to go on and do something else. They were not being mature and communicating um, in it. The other person wanted to continue doing the work. The friend was like, no. Uh... I didn't say I didn't want to do it indefinitely. I just said I didn't want to do it right now. I'll let you know when I want to pick up on it. The friend is like, no, I want to finish it now. Like, this is, you got half of my work in this shit. Like, that's half of my shit too. So, if you don't want to do it, it give me what I worked on so I can I can finish and, 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 and do the shit by myself. This person don't want you to do that. You know what I'm saying? This person don't want to do that. Does not want to do that. This person might even try to take your work and try to move on and take credit. It's like someone really didn't want something until you wanted it. And it's like now that you want it, it's like they're like they won't let you move on a little bit. Not giving you recognition for your work. Having to take them to court just to get your shit back. That's what I'm getting. Mm, anyway, let me get up out of here. Let me give give y'all two words of closing advice on this situation. Oh, okay. Child, you got the moon, you got the magician, and then you got the six of cups in the reverse. So, um... Mm. So you got the moon. Look at your reflection. You like what you see? You like what you see? The moon represents fears. Represents worries. This has to do with... Someone has some type of issues... That stems way far beyond anything that we understand. This has something to do with someone's childhood and their upbringing. It really does. The Six of Cups in the Reverse is 
not a good card. It's like someone won't take the rose colored glasses off. They want to see what they want to see no matter how bad or uneven and unbalanced this emotional uh, situation is. The magician card is basically telling me it's like you're going to try to manipulate the energy to make the outcome come out to what you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like regardless of your fears and it's like your inner issues it's like I'm going to try to make this thing come out the way that I want it to come out regardless. That moon and the way that she's looking at her reflection it, I'm, it's honest it's like someone especially with the six of cups sitting here right next it's like they don't like what they see they see they see someone that is continuously suffering from a broken heart it could have something to do with childhood it's like their father could have walked away and they never let go of that situation and it's like could have plagued them throughout their whole life and like that's why they hold on to situation so tight that's why they don't want to give this person their stuff back because it's like they can have separation issues anxiety stress it fucks with their ego like my dad was never in my life and my business partners are leaving me my friends are leaving me my you know what i'm saying it's like something deeper inside that you need to focus the issue is bigger than just what it seems on the outside because like on the outside she looked fine she like a regular normal person and all that but deep in the in, in the inner most crevices of her soul there is something really lacking that lurks there that this woman needs to tend to like this like you could go get some type of emotional therapy or something because it is some low level type of anxiety, fears, pain, even towards the way which you'll go to manipulation. Because even though this is the magician and upright, a magician is still a trickster. The magician is all about manipulating energies to get what they want out of the outcome. So, again, it's like someone... Like, because the Seven of Swords is like someone stooping low to, you know, it's like stooping low. It's like ever stooping low to win. Because if you put the Magician next to the Seven of Swords in reverse, oh, this is not a good person. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is willing to conjure and manipulate and to con, tell lies fudge the truth, even like um, set up something to look like it's something that it's not just so that they could get away with something. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the magician is trying to see the outcome before the outcome is even available to you. it's and, and again with the moon. The magician with the moon. It's like they're using like some type of spiritual insight. Or something to their advantage to do something. Because the moon is like intuition and things. It's like this person could have foreseen in the future. That this person is going to get tired of me or... They're not going to want to work with me anymore. Or they could have manifested it. Because like the moon is someone that projects their fears sometimes on other people. Their inner issues. Their childhood issues. Like this is someone that got issues. Hmm. Listen. I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. I'm going to leave that where it's at. I'm going to leave it where it's at. Only thing I'm going to say here is, and again, don't shoot the messenger because like I told y'all, I bust back. So don't be down there in the comments talking no bullshit in my comments, y'all. If this didn't resonate, if this is not your energy, like I said, only bits and parts of this may resonate with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
only take what resonates. Do not go down in the comment section. I ain't do this and I don't act like that. Bitch, I'm not talking about you. Because I always be having problems with Sagittarius. <laughs> I, mean, I swear, this group of Sagittarius, sometimes I always have a problem with people not understanding how to use tarot responsibly. Not every single thing in these readings pertain to you. There are still cross watchers who watch this reading. So this may be someone that is dealing with a Sagittarius and it's not you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is exactly to the T their situation. Okay? So, again, learn how to watch tarot responsibly. I don't want to have to block anybody. Okay? Again, whoever this is clinging and it clearly has some past issues and trauma, you really have to do your due diligence and you have to go and get someone to talk to about your separation issues, your anxiety, your abandonment issues, all of the stuff that has something to do with your child. It has something to do with shit that happened years ago. It could have even been a past relationship that has nothing to do with this where you still have harbor anger, resentment, so you still have triggers about. You understand? And that's why I feel like that pettiness is like, oh, were you trying to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to release you. I'm not going to do this. I'm not, you know, you got to work on that, baby. Because the more and more you keep holding on and you're not taking this time to chill out and regenerate, you got true commitment, everything that you really even fucking want. Look, at even said it down here. Doors, the opportunities are waiting for you. Good luck. Listen, success outcome to the problem one thing about the key and um and uh lenormand the key in lenormand is a choice let me get my lenormand cards this is the last reading of the year so if i, if I gotta break some shit down a little bit more to explain some shit to y'all so i can understand what i mean i'm gonna have to do this the key represents choices and I'm going to go in here. The key. The key represents destiny, a threshold, a doorway, an opening, closing, integral, unlock, hide, clues, solutions, insight. Answers and epiphany, understanding, certainty, lock, knowledge, something being revealed or understood. It doesn't say it in here, but I promise you, the key represents a choice, a opening and closing. You have a choice to put that key in that lock and open up that door and see what's on the other side. You can either stand there and continue to hold on to your current existence or you can make the decision to move on balanced in a harmonious, beneficial way. If you hold on to old shit and if you don't get the counseling, if you don't tend to the issues that you need to tend to, all of that stress, all of that negative energy, all of that shit is going to follow you and it's going to tarnish your opportunities and it's going to tarnish your reputation and again i'm going to stress one more time here these cards screamed someone has all of the opportunities in the world but because of their immaturity and their past issues is want to do something uh it's going to fuck up their reputation and especially if you don't know how to control your anger over shit that you can't control so Sagittarius, I love you. Continue to love yourself. And again, I want you to be the success to this outcome. Okay? All right? Have it be that you are the Sagittarius that are the ones that need to let go. If it's someone that's watching this reading that needs to hear this, that needs to let go. You have so much more on the other side of that door. Let go of shit that is trying to let go of you. Remember, the seven swords means outdated thinking. This shit is old. It's time to step into something new. Okay? I love you. Love yourself. Peace.